Well, 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 you're back for another episode. Well, guess what? We have some stuff to do in today's one. I really want to try and get something tamed today, uh, preferably a moss chop. They are super useful. So having one of those would be amazing. Um, but a bit of an update on the crops. They are fruiting right now. Um, we actually had major struggles trying to find a long grass seed. But after absolutely ages of just grabbing fiber and berries i eventually managed to get one so that is awesome um besides that i really haven't done a whole lot else i did get some more metal so now we have a crap ton in here and that's all smelting and everything and oh my god what the oh my god please don't break my crops oh my are you kidding me do those spike fences actually hurt him i gotta get him away from my base what the hell? Okay, fight the stego there, buddy. Yeah, that's perfect. Fight him. What the? Where the hell did you even come from? I... Okay, great. Yeah, no, that's fantastic. I'm glad that thing didn't attack when I was AFKing in my little hut for a few minutes there while I grabbed some water. Why? Why do you exist? What level is that thing? Hopefully the stego can take it out because otherwise, I don't know, we might have to abandon ship here. Um, I should try and get my Fiomi out of here or something because he's, he's probably going to go for that. I don't know if he get... If they get aggro to the structures. Um, that stagger doesn't look like it's doing too hot. I need to maybe help. I don't even know. Okay, so I guess we're fighting a Rex. No idea what level this thing is. Hopefully it's not super high. It does look a little bit bloody. Or does it? No, it does not. Tiniest little bit of blood right there. Uh, he ate the stagger though, so he's good. Are you kidding me? Can I lead him off the cliff or something? I guess I could probably try and do that. Uh... Okay, if I drop all my stuff, I can lead him off the cliff and not have to deal with him. But dropping all my stuff on time is going to be a bit of an issue. <gasps> Ooh, okay. Is he able to catch up to me? I hope not. Okay, stay there, stay there. Okay, perfect. I, I just, I was a little bit worried about him running into my base. Okay. Um, Now I'm gonna kind of like run back towards the cliff i gotta drop all my stuff off my hot bar too oh my god there's no easy way of doing this there really isn't i guess no there's not i i don't know how to do this without losing a bunch of gear because i'm gonna have to drop absolutely everything and doing that on time is never going to happen so let me see oh crap okay wrong button um is there anything i could pawn him off onto Ooh, okay keep running keep running Seriously, this is a, a crazy way to start out the video. I'm glad that I'd already started recording because that would have been really annoying if that happened. Oh, we're out of stamina. Okay, hang on. Let me go ahead and pull these all off. And then, uh, okay. Hey, um, hey Dodo, why don't you distract that Rex from me? All right, we got a couple more things. There we go. And then I dropped those by accident. How did that even happen? I didn't even hit that button. Okay. Um... All right, all right, all right. Let's uh, let's just drop all the gear right here. Boom. All right, follow me, buddy. Ah, oh, this is ridiculous. <laughs> Guys, hit the like button if you find yourself enjoying this one. Do it. And boom, I'm dead. And the Rex is down the cliff. Oh man, that there's no like there was no easier way of dealing with that. I mean, like that. I felt like that was the only way of doing that. I don't even know what level that thing is. So, yeah. Okay, interesting start to the video. Wow, all right. Anyway, uh, what were we even talking about? I don't even know. Let me go grab my stuff. Yeah, oh, we need to go tame something today. That's the point of this video. Maybe I'll to try and find some crystal, although, yeah, really having struggles with that. I mean, I know that there's some in that waterfall. It's just, I don't know how to get in there. I mean, I don't know if there's like a way down or something. I don't know. I really don't. Uh, is that Rex? That Rex is down here, right? Okay, it's probably somewhere over there. Let's see. Let me go grab my gear. Uh, there it is. Cool. Okay. We're good. We are good. You see, if I had just dropped everything without moving it all off my hotbar, it wouldn't have dropped everything off my hotbar. So, that wasn't really going to be an option for me. Um, we needed to make sure that I don't lose my gear by jumping off the cliff with it. Um, because that would have been a major pain to try and go down and get, so... Um, I think that's pretty much everything where it needs to be. Let's put that there, though. Cool. Alrighty. Anyway, um, crops. Yeah, showed those to you, and... Okay, let's just, let's just begin. Oh my god, the, what the hell? It looks like a solid log of poop. <laughs> I know it's like a little, it's like a little, um, totem type thing, maybe. I'm not sure what it's called. 
I don't know if it's exactly like a totem pole, but that kind of what's that's kind of what comes to mind. I don't know. Um, anyway, do we need anything from base? Probably not. Let's uh, just fill up on some water and then we shall head on out and try to find a moss chops. And I'm just thinking we pretty much kind of have to go down that way because that's where I did see some moss chops. And now we're going to have to pass that Rex. So maybe putting it down there was a bad idea. Okay, great. Uh, you know what? Let me go ahead and hit some of these honey nodes real quick before we head on off. Um, yeah, so also, um, <laughs> along with hitting the like button, if you're interested in playing on a server like this, we have one coming up later on this week on my Patreon. So check that out. Link down below. Um, although we are kind of coming to the end of a month here, so it's probably best that you wait till the very first of the month because it's just going to charge you now and then, and then again on the first unfortunately there's no other way of, of doing things like that so yeah maybe wait till the first actually if you're interested in that stuff um all right anyway let me let me see got Fiomia here do we have anything else that's super dangerous and bad down here hopefully not I mean we did have some raptors before and they were roughly around here the last time we saw them I think but they might have wandered off since then or gotten killed who knows who knows um hmm we could probably tame a Tyranodon pretty soon, actually. We could probably do that, because we're we're leveling up quick here. Again, I, I don't have increased um, levels or, like, XP rates or anything like that. I, I don't increase that at all. Why am I doing that? This is not Genesis. I don't have Helena. I could tame that thing, but we'll leave it. We'll wait till we actually are at the right levels so we can actually ride on it, because I think that's 37, right? But, um, yeah, no, I, it's just super annoying. You just level so quick nowadays. It's so weird. I don't I don't know how to stop that. Besides turning down my my XP rates, which I don't think would really make a whole lot of sense. Uh, whereabouts is this Rex? Okay, there he is. He's way off over there eating something. I have no clue. Can we get past him or should I maybe just head up that hill there? You know what? Maybe like wandering around could be better because we might be able to find different moss chops because we did see those ones before and they required things I didn't have and I still don't have. But we potentially could... I think that they do reset when you like leave for a long time and then come back or something i'm not sure i think for the moment let's let's run up here let's see if we can find crystal maybe some different moss chops um i don't know we're gonna have to just see if we can find anything really um i don't really know where i'm going though so hopefully we're not wandering into something super dangerous right now but i guess we'll have to wait and see that is really the fun of not knowing the map that you're playing on i mean Nowadays, I, I know the island. I know pretty pretty much all the maps, let's be honest. I know them all just off the top of my head. You know, if I'm wandering through an area, if maybe if I haven't been through that area tons of times, I might not know exactly where I am, but I'll probably know areas around it and stuff. So, yeah. Um, let's actually check out this drop, even though we can't grab it. But, um, I don't know. It's it's really interesting playing on a map I've, I've not kind of, like, memorized, you know. So, yeah, I like that. I really do. Let's see, what exactly is this? Is this a totem pole? No, it's not. That's totally not what a totem pole is. Uh, that is cool looking though, but we cannot grab that and we got compies following me that I cannot tame because I don't have any prime meat. <sighs> all right, all right, let's see. We got Parasaur. Probably could actually go for a Parasaur to be honest. That might be a good idea. Um, we should probably be gathering some berries here. Um, I guess I'll, I'll drink this for the moment. Hopefully we can find some water soon so I'm not constantly running out. Um, I guess being in the hide armor might not help a huge amount because it does make you kind of warm, but I, I'm not super warm right now. My temperature is good, so I don't really know. Uh, all right, let's see. What is over here? That looks like some metal, I think. So crystal, maybe, potentially. We got moss chops, though. Hell yeah. Okay, what do you require? Cocked. Oh, damn you. Really? <laughs> It would have to be something I don't have, and it's a 120 and, it, and everything, so I've just realized that's a Trudon right there. I do not want to be near that thing. I know it's not nighttime, but they're still really dangerous, so... Yeah, that, uh, that's just going to be a no from me. Um, we got a Dillo over there. I don't really know if there's anything else around here. we got a couple red drops out right now. Damn. Um, Alright, yeah, I don't really see anything up here. I will go up that hill and check out the metal area. I think this is like... This is like roughly where we spawned, maybe? I think? We got a little waterfall over there. Any beaver dams, actually? Hmm. All right, let's let's uh, let's go this way. Let's, uh, let's go over in this direction. I kind of like being in third person sometimes. It's really nice just running around like this. Um, okay. 
how do we get up there i think we can probably go just past where that trudon was let me see if i can get up the hill a little bit before there we go perfect okay here's the metal area is there crystal though i don't see any they could also be the nodes of crystal from atlas which is just like a bunch of gems pretty much hmm oh hang on a second i think i know where we can find some crystal but i'm not 100 percent sure i know there's like gems in this little like trench with, with all like the hexagonal stones but i don't know if they're harvestable and i know that's kind of close to here because i was making a thumbnail at that area uh for the first episode hmm i don't know i don't know can we even get up this hill as well i don't think so doesn't really look like it i mean yeah no i can't run up that uh okay well that's interesting <laughs> just, there's no way up here really at all can we get can we get up there no maybe oh oh a little bit wait if we jump there we go okay look at this oh okay i'm doing it look at me go oh no never mind that's some okay i thought that was gonna be some broken ankles but we're okay let's see let's go up there nope that's a bounce okay <laughs> is it gonna be possible to get up here probably not uh here then up to this little area no i keep bouncing around on everything let me see up here oh okay oh there we go look at that okay we're getting there we are getting there this is such a struggle no oh my okay that's a major setback okay hang on we went for here and then we kind of got over here somewhere um there maybe can we get up oh my god i just want to get up this hill man oh okay okay Maybe like here. That looks promising. No. Okay. You know what? I'm, I'm not going to do this for like 10 minutes because I know I'll just keep doing that until I get up. It's probably possible, but I'm going to give up unless this area right here is possible. No. Maybe. Oh. Oh, I'm so close. No. All right. You know what? No, 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 no. I'm not falling for this trick. I will not spend 10 minutes trying to get up this hill. It is not possible right now. Um. <laughs> all right let's uh i keep taking damage here man i gotta stop doing that let's try and head over for the area i'm thinking of and also let's check on that moss chops is this it no that's a different one cooked prime as well damn it all right where's the 120 did it change its required food because i did kind of maybe de-render it no it's still the same all right maybe that's not true i thought that was a thing but i guess not this is the true on right there okay Alrighty, is there really anywhere else that I can actually go from this area that I'm in? Probably not. I mean, now we're on the other side of this little um, valley here. We've got, like, the middle part with the Spino and now the Rex. Um, is it going to be possible to get over here onto the waterfall? Because, like... Hmm. Wait, is it the top waterfall or is it the middle one? As in, you know, is it here or is it up here? I guess I could have also done this, you know, here or here. That's what I'm kind of curious about. Um, if it's the middle, then it might be possible. And also, I need water right now. So that sucks. Uh, okay. Can we get Can we get up here? Eh. A little jump. Oh, another little jump. No. Oh, my God. Sometimes. Okay, we could probably do one of these. And, all right. You know what? Screw it. I'm, I'm just... Let's just travel over to the other side. I think, I think that's where the little um, hexagonal area is and there's a cave there too that i want to kind of check out as well so yeah lots of stuff to check out over in that side um it's just a real pity that this little adventure over to this side has kind of led to nothingness um how i how did i get up here i think it was further back this way right there's my little house oh Ooh, okay uh oh <gasps> oh i was about to say am i gonna get stuck that would have really sucked okay i love this music okay we got a green drop. I might... Yeah, I can open that, right? Totally. Yeah, I can definitely open that green drop. Okay, let's uh, let's try and get down there then. Gotta go back in this direction. Okay. And we gotta stop for some stem. All right, we're good. We just still need water, but it's fine. Um, Yeah, I must have went up this hill over this far side over here. Let's see. Let's try and get back down there. Um, Yeah, it was definitely over here. Okay, no more um, moss chops, though. Gotta stop taking damage. <laughs> I'm just too used to playing with just a free tech suit, you know? We had the whole Genesis series, and I was just able to just do that. <laughs> so now I gotta, I gotta be a little bit cautious, because that can't be a thing. I've just been playing on Genesis, and then I've had the Doc series, and that's kind of like 
ruined me for the moment. So I will try to stop taking damage via falling. Um, all right, let's see. Whereabouts is this Rex? First of all, water, delicious. You would, ju oh wait, no, that's not a green drop. Oh my God, I'm a dum-dum. Wow, okay. <laughs> I was about to say he would have to be on the drop that I want to get, but he's not. That's that's a dead me that it's trying to eat. So that's okay. I guess we're going to run all, all the way over here and see if we can find our, our thing. Come on, stamina. A little bit of food, maybe to heal me. No, we're full, I think. Damn. All right, let's see. So I'm going to just say the waterfall is a no-go. Um, then obviously all the way over there is a no-go as well. I think the only area that I can really go to is over here. But that kind of sucks because this is snow. Um, I think the little, the little area I'm looking for is like right over in this direction though. We might be able to get to it, although we might not. Is that it right up ahead? Yeah, I think that's it right there. Can we get over there though? Let's see. Um, oh yeah, yeah, that's totally it. Okay, cool. Let's see. Can we get over there? That is the, the one thing I need right now. And hopefully those little gems are harvestable because if they're not, then I don't know where the hell we're going to get some, some crystal around here. Oh man. All right. Let's stop for some stamina. Um, yeah, we can, we can run around that way and try and get over to there. Oh, we can also get down there too. Yeah. Maybe let's head down instead. Cause then I'll be down on like the ground level where I'll probably be able to harvest it. And then I won't have to fall down to some stuff. Let's see. Oh man, this map honestly is so beautiful. It's so good. And I've been seeing a lot of love for the map as well in the comments. Um, so many people have said that they tried it out and they absolutely love it. And honestly, I'm so happy that uh, that this is like a pretty well-known map as well. I, I definitely would say that um, if they're going to do another official map, which it kind of seems like they might at some point, because at this point, I think they're kind of like, yeah, Ark is like pretty much done, but we'll, we'll keep adding these, these modded maps as official maps. So... Yeah, uh, I think if uh, if they want to add another one, this is definitely a good candidate for that. But um, can we just talk about how beautiful this area is? Like the water being green like that is so cool looking. Um, God, this is this is amazing. Um, if you've never seen any of these hexagonal rocks IRL, you definitely need to. I think it's what is it again? It's not is it? It's not basalt, is it? No, it, I can't, I can't remember what it is. I I can't remember. Um. Is it basalt? I think it might be. I can't remember. Um, it is really cool, though. I've been to the Giant's Causeway, which is um, in Northern Ireland. So uh, I, I got to I gotta recommend areas like that. There's tons of this around the world. Like, there's, there's so many different areas around the world that you can find that stuff. So definitely go visit one. And look at that. Amazing. We can gather this crystal. Oh, yes. I had no idea that this would actually work, but these are Atlas assets for crystal. And there we go. Rare mushroom. That could actually really help out. Hmm. Okay. We could probably head back and try and tame one of those moss chops that we found the first episode then. All right. Let's just, uh, yeah, that's a good amount for the moment. I want to check out this cave though. Uh, let's go up this little spot right here. Um, okay. Let's go over here. <laughs> We're really struggling actually getting up these little uh, mounds and, and hills and everything today. I don't have grapples yet. Um, I don't have climbing picks or anything. I would... Oh my god, what the hell? Why did it just... It just got so dark. Look at that. I moved my camera over here and like the world has just gone into darkness. That is so weird. I mean, it's kind of nice the way there's like different lighting, but that really threw me off there. Um, I don't know if there's anything in here. I don't think there is. It is cold. So we can't really spend too much time in here. But this reminds me of the cave in a uh, rag underneath the, the lighthouse, which is actually in another area with these hexagonal stones. So cool. I, I think that's basalt. I'm probably wrong. You guys will probably let me know. Um, I have I definitely know about the stuff, though, and I know how it's like formed and everything. Um, just sometimes the words just slip my mind and I can't remember it on the spot without like properly thinking and there's not a whole lot of thinking that goes on in these videos because you know I'm always uh I'm always yapping away <laughs> oh man look at this though this is so cool I like this actually this would make a really nice area to build a base in um I kind of want to jump into the water there's no resources in here is there I mean is this breakable okay there's a couple little rocks in here no metal nodes or anything oh wait 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 what's that over there is that like a bridge into the center? No, I don't think so. Let me just run all the way around. It can't hurt to do that. 
see. You see, this is what I really like. Just like exploring a map together like this. This is awesome. I really do love exploring an arc. Um, I definitely skip over it quite a lot because sometimes it's a lot easier just to hop onto a creature and just look at the scenery from the sky. But um, there's something to be said about like running around on the ground, like just with your character or just on like a, a mount like a horse or something. I don't know. It's a really fun way of playing arc. Definitely you kind of want to get back to something like that. I've been seeing a lot of comments from people saying, oh, like you should get back and, and try and record with some of your friends again and, and do stuff like that. And I really appreciate you guys wanting that, but here's the issue. It is super difficult to coordinate with people. Um, and like doing things on other people's schedules is not really the easiest thing to do because I've got a lot more responsibilities now in life. So yeah, um, it's, it's not the easiest thing to do. Um, so yeah, most of, uh, most of my friends nowadays have kind of either like slowed down or, or pretty much like stopped YouTube as well. So I guess I need to make some new friends. <laughs> <laughs> no, not really. But uh yeah, so and then obviously there's there's others that I've just decided not to associate with. Yeah, well, let's not get into any of that stuff. But um yeah, so that's that's kind of why I, I don't I don't really do that stuff too much anymore. It's just too difficult to live on other people's timetables and schedules and stuff and yeah, everybody's got their own stuff going on. Uh I did not mean to fall into the water. Oh my god, that was a terrible thing to happen. Can I get up here? Cuz I'm going to be out of stamina. Okay, we can get up. That's good. I did see those silic pearls. We should grab some just so we can um, we can make ourselves a desert cloth hat for when we actually have that stuff going. Um, okay, let's just uh, hop on in and try and grab some of this and then we'll hop back up and grab some more stamina and then try and swim back. This is actually really nice though. This is a nice area that you could maybe just bring all your water tames and then, you know, do some uh, do some breeding or something. I don't know. It's definitely a nice spot and there's a bunch of rocks down here so you can harvest those all up and then you'll have a little bit more space um what is with the water right now what is with that that is so weird looking what the hell how is that happening i've definitely seen that happen before it's not like a map glitch it's definitely an arc weird water glitch there's so many glitches in the water look it's happening kind of again i think i don't really know let's just keep gathering these because you know a bunch of silica pearls it's just nice to have them. Um, here we go. Oh, I gotta grab some oxygen. Yeah, humans need oxygen. Oxygen, I forgot. Uh, there we go. Let's grab that and then back down for another little scavenge. We got a couple more nodes right here. Cool. All right. Definitely nice to just have this stuff. Um, can't not pick it up when I see it. There we go. Cool. So we probably got maybe like a couple hundred. Let's see. Let's get out of here now. Definitely a nice little cave, though. Uh, could potentially do something in here at some point. We got, like, almost, like, 650-ish uh, sil silica pearls, which is great. Um, and then, obviously, we have the crystal here that we can easily harvest up whenever we want. But at the same time, if I was ever going to build here, I would probably wait until all those crystal nodes came back. Because they are absolutely gorgeous when it is not super dark. There we go. Look at that. So much nicer. When you come in here, they're like, meh, they're, like, dark green. And then look at that. Just syntax colored crystals. Amazing. Okay. Uh, well, we have our, our crystal, which is great. So we should... Can we make a spyglass on the fly here? Probably not. Probably don't have everything. Um, let's go ahead and put that there, though, just for when we can. We do need some hide and some wood, so we should maybe get back to base for that stuff. Um, I think all of this is harvestable, though, right? Let's see. Yeah, look at that. Amazing. Damn. All right. Cool. Definitely handy to know. Um, weird looking waterfall right here. What? <laughs> All right, let's see. Uh, let's get up here. Nope, and didn't make that one. I love the color of the water as well. I like that. Now, I know this leads out into the ocean, so it would be great if I had brought my canoe with me, but unfortunately, I did not think that far ahead. Can we make a canoe? Probably, maybe. How much are they? Let's see. Wait, where is it? There it is. Eh, they're kind of expensive. Oh, they cost hide as well. All right, well, you know what? If I see something out here, we can maybe try and kill it. And, uh, and maybe make a canoe. I wouldn't mind, like, traveling around a little bit on the canoe, because they're really fun. It's kind of annoying how stuff like that that was introduced in Genesis Part 2 is, is pretty much locked to that map, like the nets and the canoes and, and other stuff like... I don't know. It kind of annoys me a little bit that they keep adding all this awesome stuff, but it is somewhat locked behind a paywall. And sure, you know, I'm well capable of buying all these DLCs, but not everybody is, so... I don't know. Kind of, um... 
little bit bummed out by that. I mean, it's okay locking some creatures behind because you have to have actual content in the DLC, but I don't know. Some, like, really nice quality of life things for Ark would be kind of nice if everybody had access to it, not just people who are able to buy these DLCs. I don't know. Just thinking back to when I was a kid and, like, you know, pretty much everybody was buying every single map pack for COD back then. I didn't always have money for that stuff, you know? So we obviously we did our thing back then on PlayStation where you were just able to like share out your, your, um, what is it? Your like password. And like, I think it was like five people were able to download all the stuff or whatever. I don't really know. So we used to kind of like lump our money together and one person would just buy it and then everybody would have access to it. So yeah, I don't know. What I'm trying to say is that, um, uh, I don't know, wildcard, maybe consider opening that stuff up to everybody like you did with the cryopods. Anyway, let's see. What do we have over here? Is that breakable? And what would it give me? It's like a weird piece of coral or something. Uh, is this breakable? Oh, fungal wood. Whoa. These are mushrooms, I guess. Uh, it looks a bit weird. Uh, can't really like see it under here. <laughs> I thought maybe going underwater would make it easier to look at, but no, not at all. Well, let's go ahead and, uh, oh, no, not that. Let's go ahead and, uh, hack up some of this stuff and get some fungal wood because eventually... Oh, it's just one. I thought it was two. Interesting. Um, eventually, I can uh, maybe make up some climbing picks and some stuff like that. What exactly would I need for that? Climbing pick. Ah, I need green gems. I have no clue where to find those on here. So it's going to be a struggle for sure. Um, but look at this, though. It's got all the assets from the Genesis Ocean. So it just looks really good. Looks very vibrant and like... Maybe not as lively, because there's not that many creatures around right now, but, you know, it definitely looks really good, though. I kind of wish that they would do, like, a pass on the island uh, ocean and kind of, like, redo that. Maybe even rag as well. I don't know. I really like this stuff. It looks great. All right, let's, um, let's get up and around here. I think we're kind of working our way towards the river where we came up in the first episode. Oh, what the? Okay, I was about to say there's our Rex friend, but it turns out that there's two Rexes, so that's... Are they, what are they, is that, that can't be the exact same Rex as before, right? And then another Rex friend that it had. What is with the albino Rexes on here? They're all the exact same color. So weird. All right, well, we got this guy here. We can at least look at their levels from here. Um, let's see. Let's kill you, grab the hide, and make ourselves Ebola. Hey, sorry, buddy. You're, uh, <laughs> you're, um, you're gonna have to die. Oh, yeah, go ahead and roar in my face like that. Okay, we should probably not swing that as, as far as we can. Let's go ahead and just kill it with the hammer. Just cave its skull in like we did with that Dillo in the last episode. Pretty horrifying, but there we go. <laughs> it's horrifying, but it's effective. Oh! Oh, no! Are you kidding me? Oh, my God, I can't use that underwater. Okay, well, I clearly need to keep a hatchet on me then. Uh, I unfortunately do not have my hatchet, so we're going to have to pickaxe this unfortunately oh you're actually giving me a decent amount of hide anyway all right it's fine i mean <laughs> good to know though I, I guess i'm gonna carry around a hatchet as well just in case you never know i thought that this thing could completely replace the hatchet and be like an extra weapon but maybe not uh we do have a sunken ship right here i'm curious is there i see a box right there does it give anything though please tell me this gives something oh <gasps> whoa what did i get I got like half a bajillion pikes for some reason. We got a hatchet. <laughs> okay, I guess I'm, I'm gonna drop that. I'll keep two of those actually. Um, I don't need this many pikes. Did I also get a crossbow? I got two crossbows, amazing. Well, you know what? I don't need all of this stuff. So let's just go ahead and pull the arrow out of that and that and then drop those two onto the ground. Boom. And then that goes onto there and there we go. Good as new. Really easy way of fixing your tools. Just replacing them. Um, okay. <laughs> Got so many so many pikes, though. There we go. Are we good? We can move, at least. Holy crap, though. That was just crazy. It just gave me pretty much just all of the exact same stuff. What were these Vikings traveling with? Is this breakable? Oh, scrap metal. No way. Oh, can I break all of this? Oh, it's all breakable. I don't know why that excites me so much. All right, what do we get? We got more pikes. What is happening? Why do we keep getting so many? What the hell? There's so many crossbows. I know it's such a waste to drop them on the ground, but guys, I can't carry all of that stuff, and I don't want to... I don't want to have to. Can I break this? Ah, oh, okay. I kind of like the idea of just breaking absolutely everything. I'm hoping for a sword. Uh, we got more pikes, more crossbows. 
<laughs> oh, we got some cooked meat, some spoiled meat. All right, you know what? I kind of like that. It's a little bit different from the ones on Rag, but some nice stuff nonetheless. Um, <laughs> okay, are we good now? I think we're good, sweet. All right, we got, wait, we got one more barrel to here to break. That gives the scrap metal and the wood. Let's get some stuff off this as well. This is really cool. We're just cleaning up the, the beaches here. Um, any of this breakable? Can we break the sail? No, don't think so. Damn. All right, cool. Um, any more? Yeah, we got a couple more barrels over here. Give me your scrap metal. There we go. And then there's so much of this stuff right here. This is really cool. Did not expect to be able to break the planks. I like that. Good, uh, good little secret thing there. Um, we don't have anything ridiculous on us, do we? Okay, no, we're, we're good. Let's, uh, let's go ahead and level that up a little bit. All right, let's, uh, let's go ahead and make this, um, the spyglass, because we've been sitting on that for ages. We could probably also make a canoe. Oh, I meant, okay, what am I even doing? There we go. That's what I meant to do. Um, we need a little bit of fiber, and then we can have a canoe as well. All right, let's go for it. Come on, give me that fiber. Nope, come on. There we go. And how much more? A little bit extra. There we go. Sweet. All right. So we can check out these Rexes, although I probably won't. I need to find my way back to where I was, though. That's level 30 and a 162. Amazing. What are they looking at? Is there some sort of secret, like, rock over there that is, like, interesting to look at? Should I go over there, too? Um, I mean, I don't even know where I am, so let's, let's actually go back into the water and try and figure this out. Um, all right, here we go. Just gonna canoodle around a little bit and try and figure out where we are. First of all, map time. Hmm. Okay. I don't know if that helps me at all. I can see the little, like, uh, I don't know what to call it. The little hexagonal area. I can see where that is. Where was the river that I went up, though? I'm trying to figure out where that is, though. I have no idea. All right, well, you know what? We can kind of just head back over there and maybe work our way back to base from there instead. Um, definitely don't want to go back to the Rexes because I feel like that will just they'll just end up like chasing me in the water. I don't know if I can canoe faster than they can swim at the canoe. Um, all right, what do we got over here? This is the hexagonal area. Yeah, okay, so I think the area that we spawned in is around that bend over just right behind my head there. So, yeah, okay, good to know. We gotta, we gotta head back this way though to get back to our area. Um, yeah, it's it's really interesting starting out on like maps like this. Honestly, <laughs> I just I love trying to find my way around. It's it's fun. It definitely is. Um, it's a bit of a challenge though. Let's see. Uh, can I get up? I'm just trying to figure out where I can actually get up onto there. Probably over here, right? God, that looks so good. I love it. I really do. That was one of the first areas that I found when I was um checking out this map about a year ago. I actually almost did a map tour on this, but then I realized that I don't really do those videos, and I was like, nah, I'll leave it. <laughs> Maybe I should have, though. Let's see. Uh, what are these? Are these, like... Oh, okay, well, we have sand there. I'm looking at this stuff here, though. Is this anything? No, don't think so. That, it kind of looked like charcoal for some reason. All right, let's see. We got a gamma up. It this One thing I got to say about this map is that it does get kind of, like, dark in areas, so sometimes it's kind of hard to see where I am and where I'm going. Um... Is there a way up and around here? We need to get up to that same elevation. There might be. There might be. Um. Hello. <laughs> let's uh. Let's just skirt around that fella. We don't want to get tickled. Don't like being tickled. I don't think many people do. Um. Actually, that. <laughs> you know what? That's the weird topic for today. Don't want to talk about that. I was about to say, does anybody actually enjoy that? Cause like, it it doesn't feel good. Um. <laughs> all right. Let's see. I have no clue how to get up there, so I don't think that we can. But we might be able to skirt our way around this area and then try and get into the ravine and then follow it up and then get to that area that we went into the ravine and then go back up onto the ledge that we were at. Um, really? Why did I manage to do this to myself? Let me see. Can I, like, drop down to some spot? I might be able to bounce off a tree. Uh, this doesn't look too bad. You know what? Actually, I can go down right here. Boom. Hurt me a little bit, but we're okay. Okay. Um, could probably jump up there. Sweet. All right. We got it. Look at this. Look at me go. All right. Sweet. So if we just follow this, should lead me back to where, to where I was. We could actually canoe our way through here, which might be quicker. Yeah, let's do that. Canoe. Sweet. 
Oh, man. Look at this. This is so beautiful looking. Just this weird greeny water. I love it. That's so cool looking. Man. I actually really like the canoe. Like, such a great addition to the game. Man. All right. Let's, uh... Let's see. We can go through there. I don't know if there's really anything else that we can check out right now without going too far away from pace. We didn't even get anything tamed here today. I just realized it. We've just been doing all this other stuff. Um... I could try and head back and maybe get that moss chops, the one that we saw in the first episode. If it still wants the same stuff, I'm pretty sure there was one there that wanted rare mushrooms, which I now have a couple of, so I don't know. Could be a thing. Oh, you know what? Let me... There we go. Good idea. All right, sweet. So let me, uh, let me find my way back up and around. I will... I guess we're gonna head back to that first area so i'm just gonna run my way over there because it's gonna take a few minutes so i'll see you guys when we're there i might actually drop some stuff back to base on the way because i'm getting a little bit fat here wait a minute am i an idiot oh my god oh <laughs> oh my god that's so embarrassing i had no idea there's a dillo that that's the shipwreck I I could've just walked back up this way. Why did I not do that? I don't even know what I was thinking. I just did not recognize the area. This is it, guys. I don't know this map. I don't know this map at all. Please don't hate me. <laughs> Holy crap. How did I manage that? I could've just walked back up. That leads all the way around. I don't know why I didn't realize that. I'm such an idiot. Wow. Oh my god, I made so many like ridiculous mistakes in my time at Ark, but like that that's gotta be at least in the top ten. I've had worse ones, obviously, but yeah, that's definitely pretty bad. Um, <laughs> oh man, face palm. Yeah, I know. I know. I know. Everybody's thinking that right now. It's fine though. Um, <laughs> oh my god. <gasps> Hello. Eh. Okay, I got him. Sweet. Whew. You know what? Could I tame this guy? Maybe. I might be able to. You could be my crafter. You shall be my crafter. Hell yeah. Look at this. We don't need a moss chops. Although I'll probably still get one. But this could be our crafter. Come on. We don't have much time left on this bola. It's probably going to go out pretty soon. There we go. It's down. Amazing. Okay. It's a one. What was it? A 168? That's pretty good. We could probably try to kill a stego and get some prime for it. Uh, we got a power store over there. Okay. I guess we're gonna hold off on the moss chops for the moment then and go for this raptor instead. Our very first crafter. I mean, I guess we always have to have a crafter in every, in every single series, so. Um, I do need prime, and I'm wondering where I can get that. There's a diplo up here somewhere. Maybe it got killed by the rex, actually. I haven't seen that, to be honest. Uh, there might be some more stagos around, maybe? I don't know. Uh, let's go ahead and put this guy on the tracker, though. Um, boom. Cool. So, wait, did I... Did I not do that? There we, oh, there we go. Okay. We good? Um, all right. So he is, he will drop down by Torpor. Okay. We, we should be good to like head on over here and try and find something for some prime. Um, a stego would probably be the best thing right now, I would say. So yeah, we might have to go for one of them. I don't know if there's really anything else around. Um, and to be honest, if there is, I probably won't be able to kill it. So I might be able to kill a stego though, because they are kind of somewhat slow and you can get headshots on them. So Maybe might be possible. Um, all right, here we go. Did I say first tame? I do realize that we did have our Fiomia, by the way, but uh, yeah, th that thing doesn't count. Here we go. We got a Stego right here. What level are you there, buddy? <sighs> no, <laughs> we gotta look for a different one. I'm not killing a 168. That's just gonna take far too long to do. Boom. Let's go ahead and do that. Nice. Um, what is that over there? Is that a Dillo? Yeah. Okay. Uh, what is that up there? Is that a Carno? No way. Ah, it's 160. Why is everything like a 160 something? What? Let's eat some meat. Really? Okay, like everything's like a super high level around here, apparently. That's nice. You got a blue drop over there that I could probably open right now. Hello, Dillo. Oh my god, you really gonna. Are we really gonna have to do this? There we go. Nice. And you gave me a level, so thank you. Um, Mr. Rex, what level were you? Ah, uh, it was a 114. I might have actually been able to kill that thing. All right. Uh, boom. And some water. Boom. All right. 
yeah, I don't, I don't know if there's anything around here that I can really uh, go for. We gotta tame that tame. We gotta claim that at some point. Um, ah, oh, we might have to go for the stego. I don't want to. I really don't want to. But it's gonna be the only way I'm gonna get some prime, which I technically don't need. But it is kind of nice to tame things with prime instead of letting them lose a bunch of levels. So uh, I'm gonna do it. Screw it. All right, this is this is gonna really suck. Not gonna enjoy doing this. We don't have a net gun right now, so we can't easily trap him or do anything like that. So, yeah, we just gotta do it the old-fashioned way, which is shooting him in the face, which I just missed. Um, amazing. Okay, let's see. Uh, let me just kind of like let it come out into the open here. We might actually be able to trap it down this cliff right here. Yeah, you know what? This could actually work. Nice. We gotta actually get some headshots, though. Oh my god, stop moving! Really? Okay, there we go. Oh, what? How did that not count? That was totally perfect. Okay. You're gonna be one of those stegos, eh? Well, I'm not gonna aim for headshots if it's just gonna keep running around like this. Oh, man. All right, you know what? Maybe we could save the arrows and instead just throw our thingy at it. Here it is. And a boom. Come on. Damn it. <laughs> Come here, buddy. Hey, oh, it's coming back. Nice. Okay. Okay, that does terrible damage. All right, let's see. Let's get up here. Nice. How much damage did I do with that? Okay, nice. I actually got a headshot. All right, come here. Come up this way. Nice, okay. Oh, he's getting up. All right, we gotta watch out for this because this thing could really easily kill me. Hmm. Ow. Did not mean to get hit there. I wonder if these fences actually do damage. Do they? I really hope that they do. But if it does, then I might be able to get the fences to hurt it. I don't know. Could be a thing. Come on. Come on. I really wish those uh, crates had had some flaming arrows in them. Oh, crap. He's coming for me. <gasps> okay. Hey, bud. All right. Let me get some distance here. Damn. Close to a headshot there, but didn't quite get it. And we're good on the raptor, and he is running away from me now. Uh, good opportunity to just use this. Even though it doesn't do that much damage, it's probably better than using a ton of arrows. Because why? I oh my god, of course I would have to hit you. Of course. Yeah, get away. There we go. Smushing him with a little hammer. Um, come on. Oh, no, 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 no. Don't run off that cliff. No. I know you saw me do it earlier. doesn't mean that you should do it, too. Boom. There we go. Nice. And it would not fly back through it on the rebound. That sucks. I don't know if it would hit twice. I really doubt that it would, right? That doesn't make a whole lot of sense. Oh, my God. Come on. Die already. Eh. Okay. He's running. Perfect. All right. Oh, come on, buddy. Why couldn't there be a lower level stack around here? Of course... That Rex would have to have killed the other Stego earlier. That was probably a lower level than this one. If we had gotten the Rex to fight this one, maybe the Rex wouldn't have survived. Or maybe if the two of them had teamed up on it, that would have been better. Oh my god, we're going to be doing this for a bit. So you know what? I'll just uh, I'll bring you guys back when this thing's dead. I'm honestly going to be doing this for ages. I can already tell. Ooh, you just turned on me in the last second there. Uh, really good thing when it, uh, when it's running away from me like this is to just run in and hammer it for a little bit. Come on. We get a couple hits in, although now I'm out of stamina. Oops. Alright, last little bit. Let's, uh, let's get in here with this hammer. Yeah. Come on! Almost! Come on! Die already! Come on, die! Come on! Hey, I did it! I did it! Ah, oh, that took so long. Do we have any arrows to pull out? Uh, we got like two, maybe. All right, sweet. There we go. This, uh, this little craptor has cost me a lot of time and effort and a lot of arrows and crossbow durability. Clearly, we need to go back down to that little ship. Um, all right. Well, anyway, here you go, buddy. Enjoy. Yeah, that's right. Did we get the right amount as well? Oh, wow. I think we actually did. Let's put that in just in case. I think we roughly got like pretty much the perfect amount. There we go. Look at that. We actually did. <gasps> Amazing. Okay. Sweet. All right. Well, there we go, guys. 
Level 250 Crapter. Let me go ahead and name you. That is not... Okay, usually that's where the, the name thing is, but now they have that extra option. Um, super annoying. Again, it's just muscle memory. Like, I know... I always knew where that is, but now they added something different, so it's going to take me a little bit. Crapter. Crapter. Crapto. <laughs> there we go. Nice. Another Crapter to add to the list. Honestly, how many of these things have I had? That is not where I was supposed to go. There we go. Boom. All right. I'm going to bring this thing back to base, and that is going to be it for today. Guys, if you have enjoyed this video, go ahead, do me a favor, hit the like button. And, uh, yeah, um, I'm really happy to have this dude, actually. It's a really nice find. I'm really glad that I was actually able to bola it before running away and, you know, potentially getting it to fall off a cliff or something like that, Rex. But, uh, yeah, anyway, I will catch you in the next one.